Nina. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have a card to share with you that features an easy stamp layering technique featuring products from Sunny Studio Stamps. Now, if you watched part one of this video series, this is a two-part video series featuring easy stamp layering techniques using Sunny Studio Stamps products. If you missed the first video, I encourage you to check it out. I have the link to that card in the video description, also at the end of this video, and on the Sunny Studio Stamps blog and my blog, so you can find it everywhere. This video is also part of a guest post that I'm doing for Sunny Studio Stamps. Sunny Studios is owned and operated by my good friend Mendy and I'm always really excited and happy to support her by doing guest videos every once in a while uh, featuring her products. So I wanted to feature today her Two Scoops and Perfect Popsicles stamp sets. This is the Two Scoops set. You can see it's got some really amazing stamp layering images and then this card is going to feature the popsicles. So when I was creating the first card in my series, the one with the ice cream cone and using the two scoops set, while I was creating that card, I had the idea to use the popsicles to create a really fun, colorful background using more feminine colors. The first card is more of a masculine feel, and this card has some really fun, bright, happy, summery, feminine kind of colors, though it could be used for a guy as well. So I'm stamping the popsicles and I'm first starting off with the base layer images of each of these popsicles because I want to make sure I get the layout of this done first before I do any stamp layering. So I'm using a variety of Simon Says Stamp and Ulta New Ink colors. I've got Hot Lips, uh, Orange Slush, Mint Candy, Lemon Chiffon, Lemon Zing, Malibu, Caribbean Sky, it's so many colors. So I'll have all of those linked in the video description or over at my blog so you can find out which colors I used for each card. Here I'm bringing in the second layer of each of these popsicles and I'm lining this up to create the really cool dimensional effect that these popsicles have. There is a third layer but I decided to not use that on this card and instead just go with two layers. I also added the shading to the popsicle stick as well. So right here I decided to add a little bit of interest to the background by bringing in some of the little melting drops that are included in the Perfect Popsicle set. I'm stamping those melted little drops all over this background in a variety of the colors that I used on the popsicles themselves. In some cases I used the darkest color and in other cases I used the lightest color. It all kind of just depended on which color I felt like using. Then for my sentiment, I'm going to stamp that on the center of this green popsicle or the mint popsicle. And when I'm creating this card, I'm working on kind of a like a graphical style. I don't want this to be really busy. I want it to be clean, simple, and also one layer in this case because I want it to be easy to mail. The other card that I created in this series is also just as easy to mail. It's not very bulky and it's also very clean and simple, so it's perfect for creating fun, quick, and easy cards. Now, because I am making a clean and simple card, I want to make sure I use elements and details that are going to draw interest to this design. So one of the things I'm doing here is I'm adding some Nuvo white gloss drops over top of all of the highlights on my popsicles. This is adding dimension and also a lot of really great interest to these popsicles. So they're going to look kind of wet they're going to look a little bit more interesting than if I had left them without the highlight. The highlight was already there from stamping, but by using the white gloss that intensified that highlight really nicely. I also added some white blizzard glitter drop to the melting drops as well. Finally, I decided I wanted to have that sentiment be a little bit richer in color. So I'm going to actually heat emboss over top of that using the same stamp. I'm going to line it up and stamp over top of the sentiment with some clear ink and then I'm going to bring in some clear embossing powder and I'm going to add that over top of the sentiment. That'll allow me to heat set this and create a really beautiful, really intense sentiment that's going to pop up off of that popsicle beautifully. So here's a close up look of how the card finished off. Real, like I said, really easy. This is one layer so it's a perfect card to mail. You're not going to have any bulk. And all of the little details that we added created a really fun, beautiful card design. Here's also a look at the other card that I created part of this video series. Again, if you're interested in seeing this card in action, be sure to check out the video I have on the right hand side of the screen 
or you can click on the links down in the video description to find it as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. I will see you again very soon. Bye!